Now it's actually quite a few years since I had an English still table wine as my wine of the week. Um, and now I think it's time to have another. English wine has been in a bit of a boom of recent times, um, mainly I have to say through sparkling wines. The quality of English sparkling wine has been on the up and up and its recognition is now truly global. Uh, everywhere I go people ask me about this phenomenon of English sparkling wine. But we make table wines too and uh, I have an example this week for us. This is the Nitor Madeleine Angevine 2011. Uh, the company is called Nitor, based in Cornwall, and the wines for sale are around £15 in a whole variety of independent wine merchants and from the winery. I'm going to put a list of all of those stockists just at the end of the video. Uh, Madeleine Angevine is a grape variety that was originally bred in the Loire Valley in France, bred specifically to ripen early. Now that's a really important thing for cool climate regions where they cannot guarantee sufficient sunshine, they can't guarantee a long, long growing season with a long, dry, mild autumn. So you want grapes that can ripen early, get the sugar into them so they can be harvested before the rains happen and when they are ripe enough. Uh, this particular wine, as I say, comes from Cornwall in the southwest of England, uh, made by a young winemaker. No oak in this and handled very gently, very directly, so that he is trying to capture the freshness of the fruit. On the nose, a little bit of yeastiness, a little bit of a kind of um, uh, slightly oatmeal character, which I can pick up probably from some lees aging. Other than that, the fruit is quite discreet, a tiny bit floral, a tiny bit of kind of summer gooseberry type fruit, but really quite neutral in the nose, not an awful lot of aroma. And on the palate, mm, well, it's bone dry. No perceptible sugar in this at all, quite an uncompromising style. Masses of kind of pithy grapefruit and lemon freshness to this, but it has a little bit more than that. There is a hint of something green and herbaceous, the way a Loire Sauvignon Blanc might show. And there is a nice texture to the wine. It's very, very clean. It's very, very limpid. It reminds me of some of the very clean wines being made in Portugal from grapes like Baikal, uh, by producers like Filipa Pato, if you know her wines. Very direct, very precise, very clean. And it has a lovely kind of running mountain water freshness to it. Um, it's a lovely dry wine. That lemon and apple bite and crunch is what it's all about, but delicacy too. It's for matching with fish and seafood for sure. It's just about um, fruity enough to drink as an aperitif wine. Um, as with all English wines at the moment, I'm afraid the price is a sticking point. I'm not going to say that for 13 quid this is the best value wine you will find in the shelves, but so if you want to try an English wine that's dry, that's fresh, that's made in a very modern style, it's a good example. So my wine of the week is the Nitor Madeleine Angevine 2011. It comes from Cornwall in England and it's on sale for about £13 a bottle from the Wine Pantry in London and lots of other independent shops and from the winery. It is my wine of the week. Oh.